Welcome back to Open Line. Several calls. Let's just go right back to the phones. Uh, let's go to Tim. Hello, Tim. Yes. Go right ahead. What's on your mind? Uh, not much, man. Just I saw. I just took them the TV channels and I saw that that you guys was on TV tonight. And I just thought I'd just call you guys up and tell you about my psychiatrist uh, not working no more. That's a VA. Well, she still works there, but she's doing something else. Right. Uh, and my God, man, she is. She is totally awesome. But she's. Are you able to still get help there, or are you going somewhere else now? Uh, I don't. Not yet. They're supposed to be getting me somebody else. I don't know though. Okay. But it's been very helpful for you. Yeah. I, yeah. She's she's great for me, man. But then there's this other doctor I was going to before her. His name's Dr. Grawl. He's in Bowling Green at the uh, VA. I mean, uh, he's in Bowling Green at the medical center. Man, he was pathetic, dude. He was the worst. And I have to get his butt fired from the VA. So you weren't a fan of his. Um, but here's somebody who's going, likes the doctor, but the doctor's moving around. How difficult is that? Does that happen a lot? Or what, you know, that, that's too bad to hear, here's, he finally, finally found somebody he liked and now that person's moving. That can be tough. I guess. It, it's a challenge, right? But yeah. I, you know what I hear there that's that's positive is he's not giving up the fight. Right. He's, he's right. ready to look and find mm -hmm. that next thing and, and do something uh, about what he's experiencing. And I think that's a that's a great story yeah. for us as veterans and, and family members to not get discouraged, you know, and look for that next place. That's a great resource like Cohen Clinics. Great. Let's go to Martha. Hello, Martha. Hello. How are you? Uh, great. What's on your mind? Uh, first of all, I'm interested in veterans uh, affairs, even though I'm not one. My parents were both veterans of World War II, and my dad was a Bronze Star recipient, and my mom was a, in the Coast Guard, and so it has been part of my own history in the family. So, I've, But lately, I've been thinking about getting some kind of uh, farm veterans coalition uh, cooperative location. I have a little piece of property up in uh, Robertson County, about 40 miles away from town. And I just wanted to talk to your experts and see. Uh, we, I was thinking about doing uh, organic farming. You'll have, have a, like a week or so. We're incoming veterans back from Fort Campbell because we not too far from there either. But to um, get started, maybe getting back to a farm kind of life just to see if they like it. You know, there's farmland available and that's one option for some people to go to that are, are tired of fighting. Well, like good. All right. Let me, because we're about to run out of time, but that, that shows there's a lot of people out there who want to help, right? Them, right? Yeah. And, and that's that's great. And and you see that. And I'm glad you were welcomed back. You felt like you were. But that's that's kind of good to hear. Thirty seconds. You know, what, what do you think about that? I think that's great because actually, agricultural therapy is a thing. There's two uh, veterans in Georgia who actually have vets to grow, and they have veterans come down and they work on a farm, and all they do is farming, and just for a short amount of time. But it's extremely therapeutic. So I love to hear that because Robertson County has a lot of veterans there, so that will be very much welcomed. Good, Martha, thank you for that call. We'll take a break, be back right after this.